stay tuned because we're gonna be talking about how I started my brand, what I've learned, the ups and downs about business partnership and working with a business partner, and all about my brand name Loda. Why you need her, where you can buy her, why she was created. <music> My name is Tatiana. I am a serial entrepreneur. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you subscribe. If you have any type of video, questions, concerns, you'd like to hear from me, see from me, leave them down below. I would love to create something that was asked from one of you guys. Starting a brand. First and foremost, starting a brand is not easy. There's a lot of work, a lot of research to do. First, you have to come up with a concept. What is it that you want to create? Who is it going to be for? What are they going to use it for? Who is your ideal target audience? A lot goes involved in creating a brand. You have to learn how to talk to manufacturers and how to talk to chemists because our formula is created in a chemist laboratory. We also had to learn how to market our product, how to transport goods from one place to another. Something that I realized now that I didn't see back then is that working on my Amazon business prior to me launching this brand has helped me tremendously mainly because amazon gave me a lot of tools that i implemented in my brand now that i've launched it so for example talking to manufacturers amazon taught me how to talk to a manufacturer logistics amazon taught me how to deal with logistics and talking to like a wholesaler making sure that wholesaler gives my product to the freight forward and the freight forwarder delivers it to where i need it to be delivered and all those steps it takes a lot to build a brand it took us two years to fully develop this product and bring it to life but it has been the most amazing journey ever that being said let me introduce to you my brand this is loda toilet spray this spray is designed to mask the smell of foul odors after you go number two it also helps sanitize the toilet seat your booty touches, plus it helps mask the smell of foul odors. And I'll insert a video here so you can see a couple of my videos. Also check us out on TikTok so you can learn a little bit more about us. I create a lot of informational and educational videos about this amazing toilet spray. The purpose of this toilet spray is when you enter the restroom, you spray the toilet seat and that helps sanitize it and get rid of germs or bacteria that's lingering around even in your own home you can have a clean toilet you just cleaned it but throughout the day your husband your son your daughter and they all went to the restroom that's five people that use the same bathroom the same toilet and not once was it sanitized or cleansed maybe prior to them using it it was but afterwards it wasn't so this is where this comes in hand where you can have it in the restroom and sanitize the toilet seat after each use. We sanitize our hands constantly after we touch many surfaces. Why not sanitize the toilet seat? Our booty touches as well. Want to shop our product? Go ahead and visit the link down in my description box. Use code code TATI10 for 10% off. And in the notes section, let me know that you came from YouTube. I may send you a gift. You never know my business partnership with this brand so a few years ago on my business partner she came up to me and she was like hey i want to launch this brand this is my idea this is my concept do you want to help me i would really really like you to help me because i just love your work ethic and i was so honored and so pleased and just instantly said yes i honestly didn't think about it not even twice i was just so excited i believed in the concept i thought the concept was fabulous and i jumped on it that's basically what I did. I jumped on it because I thought, I'm like, this is gonna be amazing for me. Let me let me hop on this idea. In hindsight, that on its own was a big mistake. I realized now, a few years later, that I should have really done my due diligence in picking my business partner. I really should have learned a little bit more about that person before I went on and agreed to be in business with that person. And by all means, I'm not complaining. I'm very thankful for the opportunity I've had. But next time, I will choose a lot more wisely. Let me explain why. I've learned in business partnership is basically like being in a full-time committed relationship you know i already have a boyfriend so having this business partnership mm -hmm. is like having two boyfriends but one boyfriend is like 
the bad boy the other boyfriend which is my real boyfriend is amazing he's sweet he i have no complaints about him he's just perfect in my opinion with this partnership it's had a lot of uphill battles and a lot of downhill battles and it's been stressful you know there's a lot of lack of communication there's a lot of issues that linger here and there it's just stressful and never did i think being in a partnership would be stressful people always told me don't do it you never know and i was like no 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 i don't i don't know don't trust it until you try it i guess basically what i learned because now that i'm in one i'm like oh my god <laughs> it's hard it's not easy so a key advice that i give everyone who decides or wants to be in a partnership is number one get to know that person get to know that person in and out pay attention to every little detail pay attention to the details that you don't think matter but they do little details like how do they eat do they chew with their mouth like open or do they chew like nicely how are they with customer service are they rude or are they not all these little things that i pay attention in when i was dating guys now knowing what i know i would also pay attention into my next business partnership number two what strengths do you personally have and what are your personal weaknesses and vice versa what is that person's strength and what is that person's weaknesses your weaknesses you must be able to find those as strengths in that other person so let me elaborate let's say you want to make a pasta from scratch and you have a friend i'm going to use my dog space as an example let's, let's say space and i are going to enter a business partnership and we're going to make a pasta space is really good at making the sauce he's good at making the perfect tomatoes seasoning the sauce everything for this pasta and i'm good at rolling the dough and making sure that pasta noodles come out nicely i personally don't know how to make a pasta sauce because i've never made one before but space has space has made one many times but she doesn't know how to roll out dough and make a pasta she doesn't know how to make the noodles so we team up and i make the perfect noodles and she makes the perfect sauce together we make the perfect pasta meal and we're an amazing team well those are the things you should pay attention to and make sure you find those within your business partnership that you plan on having these endeavors with finally what i've learned through this journey of me starting a brand and developing a brand that i've never done in my life before i decided to do it because I knew and understood business a bit and I say a bit because this is a whole different business than what I used to be in I used to be a full-time lash artist and I grew my business growing a customer service based business it's very different than growing a brand first and foremost I've learned that the process is slow and you have to have a lot of patience it's not gonna happen from one day to another it starts with an idea and you have to nourish it similar to a plant you know plant your seed, start growing it, watering it, right? Number two, you never stop working. You constantly are working on this project over and over and over. It becomes repetitive and it can become a little boring and lonely because yes, I have a business partner, but at the same time, I take a lot on the workload and I'm not seeing instant results like I would like to. But I know with patience and consistency, eventually I'll see the results of my fruit. Working with a business partner makes it a little bit more difficult because you can't just make decisions on what you think you like best. You have to consider that other person, consult with that other person. What do they want? What do they? What would they like to see for the brand too? You know, so all these little things. And lastly, I've also learned you have to work on your brand 24/7. And I've been so thankful and grateful that I've been able to fully commit to this brand and just work on it and just focus on it my biggest recommendation for someone that is considering starting it think about your long-term goal is this something that you can constantly work on is this something that you constantly want to be doing every single day in out day and for a long time you're not gonna see your hard work pay off so you're hardly gonna see any money coming in because everything that does come in it's gonna be reinvested into your business to make it better and better and better until you can afford to create make it bigger or if you're willing to go the investment route it just really depends on what your goals are right but really consider it as a long-term goal if that's what you want before you jump in and dive in and start a brand it's an amazing thing to do don't get me wrong it has amazing benefits and perks to have your own brand but it takes a lot of commitment that's all i gotta say a lot of commitment and consistency so stay consistent stay committed let me know what you've learned in this video let me know if you like these types of videos what else you would like to see 
I'm trying to focus a lot on my entrepreneurship, my journey, what I've learned, what I'm doing, what I've done, and at the same time educating you guys and hoping I can inspire somebody in pursuing their journey and their dreams. If you have any topics, any things you'd like me to touch base on or cover, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to make a video for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful rest of your day.